such a nice day to talk about mystery animals. Here's ah. all the mystery animals, guys. Hi. Ah. Look at all of those mystery animals, guys. Woo! Yeah. So we have um, more mystery animals than last time, actually. So. Yep. A lot more. And just to let you guys know, um, tell us what your favorite um, mystery animal is. Yeah, tell us, uh, tell us in the comments down below. So today, uh, I know you guys all beg for part two. So th that's what we're going to be doing today on this um, unexpected Thursday. Yep. We didn't expect this to happen. So Calvin gets to choose, since he's my brother, which is Mr. Raymond we're starting with. Okay, hang on. Yep. There's a lot of good choices. Um, which one should I see? start with um i think i will pick hmm uh this uh don't step on me oops sorry i want yeah let me pick it from this angle then i want this one Ooh. so if you guys know the Hyena bear. This is the hyena polar bear. Hyena polar bear. Didn't we talk about the hyena bear in the first one? Um, a little bit, but not much. So the hyena polar bear is really similar. It just lives in the Arctic. And it has the same colored, um, almost the same colored spots as the hyena bear but different spots up here because that's um i think what a polar bear spot would look like if they had them and then he has, has that same smile with all those teeth and he has sharp claws to pin himself into the ground in the icy snow so that's the hyena polar bear all right so icy claws for the snow and ice okay oops sorry um, hey now, isn't that, th this one a new one? Yep. I just stepped on the one that we were going to talk about. So, this one is called the Spotted Frumper. The Spotted Frumper is really good at frumping, and he's also really fast. He has stripes legs just like the we find it so hard to find all of them just like the English my 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 and the Luigi we're talking about these things oh just uh, like the zebra goat giraffe okay oh yeah they're actually relatives because they both have striped legs. They both have tiny tails with a little fluff on them. Um, they both have horns. And they both have muzzles like horses. Wow. Okay, so we talked about most of them, like the coo. Coo! Um, which is another one that we didn't talk about. Look at all these little ones. How about... We talk about the. Yeah, okay, fine. Okay, where? Sorry. Oh, this one. This one. What? Snail. You take the camera survey. I know mostly about it. Okay. This is the turtle snail. Yeah, I like how we make up a few mystery animals. Yeah, and so you guys can see it. Yeah. Um, I did get a haircut too. So here, um. <clears throat> Is the snail? Um, um is it the turtle snail again? And in case you guys didn't know, um, cheetahs go slow in Mystery Land, and um, <clears throat> turtles go slow in Mystery. Uh, sorry, turtles go fast in Mystery Land. So you never know. Like, so that means turtles go slow. So that means, <clears throat> yeah, that means that uh, 
the, the turtle snail is fast. Watch. It's so fast, I didn't even catch any of it. Yeah, so it's so fast. Okay, let's go to the next one. And there's another rule. Um, when you're down here with the mystery mammals, you can't run. Otherwise, they go. Okay, it's a better example like this. Well, what I'm trying to do is make one of them flip. Well, I, well I'm going to talk about two more because I made two more. Yeah. So another so, one that I made was this yellow one. Right here, the small one. Take care. Please, I'll don't, don't, please don't go fast this time. Okay, so <clears throat> this is the, um, so you can turn around so you can see it. This, whoa, <laughs> it's a little too close. This is the, um, what's it called? Squ uh, sh shark squid, and it can spray ink, and it can bite. It is, it's kind of a mix between a shark and a squid. So it can, yeah, it can do, obviously ink, it has a really strong bite, and it's ink is for, if it's nervous or stuff. All right, I'm gonna talk about one more, guys. Was that pretty still, silly? Yeah. All right, next we have, um, all right, the last thing that I'm going to do, let me find it. Oh, this one. This is the last one I'm going to talk about for you guys because I made these three. I decided to make them. So this is the long beak. It kind of looks like a duck and a camel mixed together, but it's actually a long beak. It's supposed to be a duck with a long beak, and you can ride it because it has a little hump right here. And uh, it, loses lo it uses his long uh, beak to poke predators so they go away. And um, <clears throat> it has duck feet, like ducks. Duck. Yeah, ducks. Yep. And, yeah, so you, you can ride it. So that's it for the long beak. Now you take the rest of it. Okay. I'm going to talk about something that I really... Hang on, let me put back the duck beak. Sorry, long beak, sorry. It's right. called. It's called the slide. It's called the. Um, yeah, perfectly right there. The slide snow. The slide snow can slide down hills, um, like this, but much faster. I just want to hold it still so Colin can see it, and you guys can too. And then it uses its tail to go in directions like that, this way, that way, that, and this way, and that way. And it also uses, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has these really um, yeah. tiny horns that are kind of chin. It's loosen-y. Okay, now put it down so they can see it. I have the horns right here. Where is it? <laughs> Hang on. Oh, right here. All right, so it has horns? Yep, right here. Can I take the camera for a second? So that is the horns right on his head, right there. You see him? Yeah. All right, they can see him now. All right, sorry guys, we just had a little technical difficulty right there. So um, there's so many more mystery animals to talk about. We only have a minute left. So what is one that you really want to talk about? One that I really want to talk I think this one will make you guys happy. It's called the burger buffalo. The burger buffalo is mixed with burgers, but you can't eat the burgers yeah. because they're just um, part of his fur. And they're like tiny humps, kind of like the lawn beak. And they look like... Um, burgers and the big one in the middle is just part of his fur. So that's the burger buffalo. Nice. Okay, I think we have time for one more. Okay. All right. This is one I really wait. Did we talk about the feather foot? No. We didn't. I think we did actually. Wait. What did we? Wait. Well, we'll just save him for next time. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about what I know we didn't talk about. Yeah. Let's talk about what we did. Oh, no, we didn't. Um. 
this one right here. Okay. Called the seaweed dolphin. The seaweed, the seaweed dolphin, dolphin has seaweed growing on it all over its body. You can see the green seaweed. Yep. And it also has a little horse in it, too. So yep. that's the seaweed dolphin. Okay, guys. So there's so many more to talk about. So what do what, what do you want to do? Do you want to make a part three, Sylvia, or just end yeah, it? Yeah, part three. All right, guys. See you guys in part three. Bye. Bye.